have here today. Finally, after five years, or six, my dad is filming today, and how many was it, six years since we got this thing? Something, Something like that. And we abandoned it for a long time. And that's my one, that's my other, that's the weed eater you've seen, and that one before. And we haven't uh, fixed it, worked on it a long time until now. We got tire, the tire situation is good. There's one thing I noticed actually yesterday that the, it turns harder left than it does right, but that's just a small distance. You can hardly tell, but I did notice it. We got the muffler system working. The brake works. It's a little, it works pretty well. I think it had to, the bell had to warm up so it can stop better. The hood is quite scratched up, and I got this tractor for free if, without an engine. So we had to deal with that problem. You can take a look at the engine here. It's kind of refurbished, so we put in, instead of the old Briggs and Stratton, we put in the new Intec 13.5 horsepower uh, overhead valve, and there's the muffler system. And instead of the original 8 horsepower, it's got a 13. Uh, the, no tractors do this anymore, but the whole rear frame comes off like that, so you have access to the transmission. There's the flywheel there, the transmission flywheel, the solenoid, the shifter is here, and it's stick shift up to five gears, and there's the battery. And steering wheel is good, and let's close it up. Now, unlike most mowers, it actually, since, I mean, this was, I think, from the uh, 60s, 1968, I'm, I think, I'm not sure on that, but I just read the serial number, I assume that there's the deck height. It actually has a free-floating deck, so it doesn't scalp the lawn if you go on some bumps, so the, depth is sep the deck is separate from the wheels. And here, lowers, that lowers the deck, so that raises it. I think maybe I can get it a little higher so it's not dragging. Here's the PTO that starts the blades and the snow blower. Since it's a garden tractor, it actually has a little rod there, I think, for holding s attachments like the snow blower. One, the safety, it doesn't have many safety features. In fact, it doesn't have any at all. What most mowers nowadays, ha nowadays have, this, like this 19... 98 weed eater, 1989 weed eater, it has an operator's presence switch. So when this sits down, when you're sitting on it, it puts weight on this pressure plate, and when you get off, it will shut down the mower unless the parking brake's on. And when you have the blades engaged, it will stop, so it won't allow you to run without sitting on it, which is nice. But basically, the only thing that you just have to be careful. If you're not careful, um, you gotta. You just have. You have to be careful with this. Right now, for our switch system, just to um, just temporarily, we have this for the ground, so that grounds it, that turns it off, and that turns it on. And when we, if I try and start it now, it won't work because it's grounded. But when I start it now, it's on. One of the things I like about this mower is it actually has this little thing here, which a lot have, not a lot have these days, but it, if you spill gasoline, it will actually go into this and fall off the side, which, of course, I spill all the time. And also, what I like, the gas tank is right in the behind this dash, it's in there, and you don't have to open up the hood, unlike this one, if you want to access the gas, you have to open up the hood, and there it is. Some nowadays, garden tractors actually have a cap here or here, and the gas tank somewhere under the seat where the battery would be, and the battery is here. And also for the uh, tow hitches, actually, I've noticed the tow hitch is higher than that one there. It's like 
a few inches higher. I don't know why that is. Probably for a bigger trailer, so I'm assuming. Also, the brake system is different. To actually use the parking brake, there isn't a little lever like with this thing. This one has a lever where when you push in the brake, it that locks it, and so when you push it back, it disengages the parking brake. So that one has a little, I don't know, lever or something. But this one actually has a, it hooks onto the the floorboard. So when you push it down, see that little hook there, and then you turn, and that hooks on to this. And you want to make sure it's really hooked because sometimes if you do it slightly like this, it may feel like it's hooked, but then it pops back. So you got to make sure it's really hooked in there. So this this turns like that just like that, which is interesting. I've never seen that before. Right now, the bagger situation isn't there. We, I mean, we don't have any bagger. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find a bagger. In fact, it looks like it's been kind of cut there. So, that's strange. All right, let's drive around a little bit. Uh, it, the shifter is a little hard to shift sometimes, so you may see me stopping and struggling. And but other than that, it works. We're going to drive up to the yard and come back. So, let's start it up. So, we got to turn on the, turn it off the ground. And, oh, start.
sometimes it doesn't start. So I'm gonna get all right.